Hey guys, it's Sarah from Miss Adventure Pants and in this video I'm going to show you how to orient a topo map using your compass so that what you're looking at uh, at all around you lines up with what you see on the map. Um, so as an example, I'm here on my rooftop deck in Denver. I've got all these cool buildings behind me and I, I don't even know what some of these are. I've lived here for five years and I probably couldn't name half the buildings out there, but no longer because I went to Cal Topo, printed myself a topo map. It's really windy up here of my neighborhood. And now I'm going to orient this map so that when I'm looking out behind me over there, um, the map, the, I can line up what's on the map with what's on the ground. So let's go see how you do that. All right, so here's my map. And what I really need to do is turn this map so that north on the map is lined up with north on the ground. So in other words, these um, edges of the map are perfect north-south lines. I wanna have them pointing at the North Pole, wherever it is. And then when I look at something like the Capitol building, there's the, where's the Capitol? There's the Capitol. When I look at the Capitol building on my map and then I look out there, then it'll be exactly where I expect it to be because when, when I see on my map, I will see out here in real life. So how do you do it? I'm gonna grab my compass and what I want to do is I want to put this compass so that it's against a north-south line. So probably the most obvious one to use is the edge of the map between the map and the border. So compass is now oriented perfectly north-south. And then what I'm going to do, I don't know if you guys can see this, is turn my compass so that north lines up with this little index line or zero degrees if your compass just has numbers. So that looks good. And the next thing I'm gonna do, this is a little bit tricky if you're in the wilderness, if you find a nice flat rock to work with, it helps, but you're gonna turn the map so that the needle lines up, it goes, the red goes in the shed, the needle lines up with the orienting arrow. So, there we go. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. And now, when I look straight out there, according to this map, I should see, you know, not a whole lot of tall buildings. If I look straight in front of me, there's not a whole lot. But if I look to the, the left, I should see downtown. So let's try it. Looking up, it's kind of boring. Pan over to the left, ah, there's downtown. So <laughs> now I can look at the map and look at these buildings and I can identify which ones they are, which will be cool after living here for five years. So there you have it, um, how to orient a topographic map. This works the same in the wilderness as it does on my rooftop deck in Denver. Um, thanks so much for watching with me. And by the way, one of those tall ones over there is called Corrigan Hall. Um, I'm not sure which one yet, but maybe in the next video I'll be able to tell you. Okay, thanks!